Hello everyone, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2018 movie Hereditary. The movie is written and directed by first time director Ari Aster, and um, he had directed a couple of short films, I think, but I've never seen those. But this is his first full feature length movie that he's directed and wrote, and he did a pretty decent job on that, but. Um, the movie is about a family who, after their secretive grandmother passes away, things start going really crazy for the family and everything, and then another tragedy happens and things get even worse after that. That's all I'm going to really say about the plot, because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it, because it took me quite a while to see it, I'm sure there's others that still haven't seen it, and it has a really big twist at the end, and I don't want to ruin anything. For anybody who hasn't seen it, um, the cast in this is really good. Um, Tony Collette plays Annie, the mother. I'd been hearing a lot of praise for her performance in this, and her performance is what makes this movie worth watching. I mean, she was absolutely terrific in this movie. Uh, I think she'd be worthy of an Oscar nomination. I don't think I'd want to see her win, though, because personally, if they have horror movies up for the nominations this year which I really don't think they will because the Oscars always overlook for most of the time um, <coughs> I think it should go to Emily Blunt for A Quiet Place but um, I really like Tony Collette in this movie she did a really really great job um, Gabrielle Byrne plays her husband Steve and he does a really good job as well and He'd also be worthy of an Oscar nomination, probably for a supporting actor though, because he's he's kind of not really the main actor in this movie. He, it's a huge part, but he's more of a supporting role, I guess. But he does a really good job. Um, Alex Wolf plays her son Peter, and um, he gave me a really surprising performance because he was really really good in this movie. I never expected kid from the Naked Brothers band to give off such a great performance. I, I personally think he also is Oscar worthy for his performance in this movie just as much as Tony Collette. And the movie really relies on these on him and her and everything. So I, I'd like to see both of them get Oscar nominations that they'd both be deserving of it. Um it also stars Melly Shapiro as her daughter Charlie who has a really important role in this movie. I don't want to say anything else about that, but and she does a good job. And Anne Dowd plays uh, Joan, a friend of, uh, well, yeah, she becomes a friend with Tony Collette's character and everything they meet, like, through the griefing session and everything, but um, she's a good character and everything uh, kind of, I guess. Well, I don't, like I said, I don't want to say too much, but, um, her performance is really good in this and everything. I, I've always kind of liked her. I mean, she, the main thing I really remember ever seeing her in besides this was in the show Freaks and Geeks when she played Kim Kelly's Crazy Mother and everything. And she did a really good performance in this movie as well. Um, the story, I mean, the story, the score by Colin Stetson is really good. Um, it really helps bring the atmosphere in the movie, which is what this movie mostly has. It doesn't have a lot of stuff going on. I mean, it has a lot of stuff going on, but it doesn't have like a lot of kills or stuff like that. Yeah, but it has a strong atmosphere. You can feel dread through the whole movie from the beginning and everything. And the movie doesn't really feel like a horror movie for most of it. It doesn't really, the horror elements of the movie don't really kick in until a little bit over an hour into the movie and everything. And for the first half of it, it's, it's just like a drama, a family drama and everything. But it's really worth watching uh, for Tony Collette and Alex Wolf's performances especially and everything but um, I don't think this was the best horror movie in years like a lot of people have been saying it is 
Yeah, I've heard some people say it was the best movie since the Exor the scariest movie since the Exorcist. Well, it did have a little bit of a creepy factor to it, and kind of watching Tony Collette's character go through stuff that she was going through in this movie was kind of creepy and stuff. I wouldn't say that it was scary or uh, terrifying, like or anything. I don't think it was as good as The Exorcist. And I think we've had plenty of other really, really good movies since then. But, um, as far as this type of movie goes, because I guess this would fall in the supernatural and I guess kind of haunted house category with demon possessions and stuff like that. I guess it, I guess I could say that it's one of the best since then. Because I'm not really into these type of movies usually and everything, but this one feels like two separate movies and everything so it's a really really slow burner there it takes a long time for a lot of stuff to really start even happening in this movie and after, uh, if I didn't really know that it was a slow burner I would have thought that I read it, I bought the wrong movie because it's it's not a full-fledged horror movie and it's not as good as a lot of people say it is but it was still a pretty good time and everything I I don't think it was one of my most favorite movies of the year, but it was very well made. The directing and cinematography was really good and everything. And I'm glad it didn't rely on cheap uh, CGI special effects or anything. There wasn't really a lot of special effects put into this, and all the ones that were were pretty much practical and everything. And uh, so I thought that was really nice. and. I also uh, I'm happy that the the cast and everything really did pull off the performances like a lot of people said. You know, so I was afraid that it, I thought it was going to be a full fledged overrated movie. And, well, it is overrated in some ways, like as far as the horror elements go. It wasn't the scary movie that I that everyone was telling me it was. It was still a really good movie and everything. And I'd give it I'd give it an eight out of ten because it, it is worth at least one watch. I don't know how rewatchable it's going to be and everything. I guess I'll find out probably in a, either a few months or a couple years or whenever I decide to try to rewatch it. But it may it may not hold up as in as a rewatchable movie, but it was still a decent movie and it's definitely worth checking out for Tony Collette's performance alone. And if you're into the the supernatural movies and stuff you might like it if you can handle the slow burn because it, it takes a long time for things to get going but that's part of what makes the movie so good to me and everything. It builds the suspense up and everything. We don't really find out what's happening until the last act of the movie and I thought that was really cool. And everything. It, like I said, it's it's an okay movie, but it's not one that I would recommend to people who don't like slow burners or get bored really easily. But um, anyway, but yeah, that was a decent movie. Anyway, that's my review for Hereditary. If there's any other movies you'd like me to review or top ten list or anything you'd like me to do, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get to them as quick as I can. Um, I am still working on getting some caught up on some of the movies I want to see before I start doing my uh, list of best, worst, most disappointing movies of 2018. So it might be February by the time I even get to working on any of that. So I'll be pretty late to the party, but I'm uh, working on trying to get that done and everything. But um, thank you and have a good day.